Hello, welcome to the new video from City Inc Express. So today we're going to be looking at a chip resetter. Uh, this one is for an Epson printer and specifically it's the newer generation ones that only have five pins. So the older generation have seven and nine pins. So also with the new resetters, there's a USB connector slot on the bottom and that's for, the, for powering the chip resetter. So if you've bought the resetter from us, it will come with the appropriate cable. So I'm going to plug the cable in. And then I'm going to plug it into the power supply. And you'll notice straight away that the red light comes on the top. So using a resetter, there are, there are many reasons why you would want to use a resetter. The common one is you're refilling your own cartridges. Two, typically the refillable cartridges on the market initially when they come out, the chips are not auto reset. Uh, they need a manual reset and this is what the resetter is for. Uh, auto reset chips don't tend to appear till at least 12 months down the line after the print is released. So this resetter will reset the refillable cartridges and the Epson ones. So the printer will go through stages. First of all, it will say, uh, low ink and you should ignore that they will only get reset when it reaches 0% 100% empty Not recognize they're all common ones, but basically you have to wait until they're 100% empty With the Epson genuine cartridges You should be res resetting those before they reach 15% any lower than 15% and it won't reset so if you're refilling refilling a genuine at 15% is the best time to do it. So I'm going to reset the genuine. At the moment, we're just going to reset this setup one. So looking at the printer, the, as I said, the new style ones only have five pins. And you're going to line the pins up. And the purpose of the video, although you might think, oh, well, it's straightforward, easy to use a resetter, there are a few key points which I want to point out to you. So initially, when you just press it on like that, you can see you'd think it wasn't working because you're holding it down, but actually you have to depress it. Yeah, so did you see that? So if you just hold it on there, nothing is happening. You have to depress it. So what I'm trying to recreate is a scenario where you're depressing it and nothing happens. Yeah, it might do it on the refillable so I can show you another another tip for resetting it. So this is the refillable cartridge. So I'm going to try this one. And again, same scenario. Yeah. So if you get it, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to recreate. Here we are. Right. So I'm pressing it down and it's not resetting. One thing worth trying if you're sure your everything is aligned. Yeah. Which looks like this. Sometimes it can get stuck in a bit of loop, bit of a loop. The best scenario is to just unplug it, plug it back in. Or you can unplug it the other end as well and then do it. Yeah, did you see that? All of a sudden it's gone straight to green. So where it wasn't before. Yeah. Probably won't do it again now. Yeah, it's done it again. Right, so unplug. Plug back in. And then it's gone green. And that's how easy it is to use the resetters on the new generation printers. Thanks for watching.